Nokia finally makes the Lumia 1020 a reality. The BlackBerry 810 gets spotted in leaked photos, and Microsoft's plans for restructuring include their own phone. I'm Jaime Rivera. And Microsoft, would this be the real Windows phone, like the real, real thing? This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's get all the boring news out of the way first, and you know that means the Moto X. Is Google is now apparently planning to spend $500 million in advertising this phone, which makes me wonder why they didn't do that with the Nexus phones as well. But still, we've got some leaked photographs of the full chassis of the phone assembled. You'd wonder why that thing is so thick. And apparently, within the Verizon roadmap that also got leaked today, the Moto X is included. And then you also have the Motorola Droid uh, Ultra lineup. Uh, that's just gonna be weird. Let's see how that goes. LG is up next as the company is now boasting a new, very thin display technology for smartphones. And just like last year, that new, very thin technology that they had last year made it to the Optimus G, and then it came to the iPhone 5 and then the Nexus 4. So it's expected that this display unit that's actually 5.2 inches diagonal and 2.2 millimeters thin is going to make it to the G2 and then to the iPhone 5S and then to whatever Nexus phone we get eventually. So let's see how that plays out. BlackBerry is up next as we've got the first leaked photographs of their new BlackBerry A10 that's planned to reach the market in the fall. And, uh, well, it looks like if the BlackBerry Z10 and the Q10 had a baby, but then the Z10 had the dominant traits because it doesn't have a keyboard and it looks a lot like a Z10. Uh, so we're trying to figure out what the differences here are. Most probably better specifications, but then again, according to the leaks, this phone is not necessarily any better than the Z10, or at least not apparently. So let's see how that plays out as you'll notice that odd design you know the white bottom the black top let's see how that plays out because apparently you will have that carbon fiber design at the back that the q10 has Microsoft is up next, and it's been widely rumored that Steve Ballmer is working single-handedly on a new restructuring program for the whole company. Now, interesting, according to this restructuring, even though they plan to merge some departments and probably let some people go, apparently the company is gonna focus more on products this time, meaning hardware products. And within that lineup, we do see that there is a smartphone within their plans. Uh, we just don't know how Microsoft is really planning to go about this, because obviously they've been saying that Nokia is the real Windows phone. And then they launched the Windows Phone 8X and they said that these are the real signature Windows phones. So we don't really understand how Microsoft is planning to give us another real Windows phone. Let's just hope it's better than the Lumia 1020 we're about to talk about. And finally, for the hot news of the day, Nokia has finally unwrapped their Lumia 1020. Yeah, that's the final name. This is pretty much a Lumia 920 in specifications and design, but it's got a huge camera hump for 41 megapixels of awesomeness. And why would you want so many megapixels? Well, for lossless digital zoom. And also, this camera brings better technology than the 808 PureView for low light performance. So this is pretty much the best smartphone in the market right now when it comes to camera technology. There's just no way around it. And it's really a aggressively priced if you think of the features that you're getting there compared to even the iPhone 5 or the Galaxy S4. So I do think that they have a very compelling product here. So that leads me to the question of the day. Is the Nokia Lumia 1020 your next smartphone? And it doesn't matter if you come from iOS or Android. Is this the next phone that you're considering? In my particular case, I'll be honest with you, I'm not really considering switching yet. But yes, this is the first Windows phone that I'd be willing to buy, and especially at that price tag for everything that I'm getting in the package. So leave us a comment down below. What do you think of the Lumia 1020? Do you really like it or not? Of course, as always, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tech world, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter at Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.